bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. There are new treatments for prostate cancer. What exactly are there? And men, what signs should you be looking for that should force you to get to the doctor to make sure that you do not have prostate cancer? Hello and thank you for joining us. I'm Candace Kelly and this is Comcast Newsmakers. This hour's newsmaker is Dr. Michael Cohen. He is a urologist at Capital Health System. And today we're talking about prostate cancer awareness. Thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you very much for having me. Absolutely. Let me first start off by saying that while September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, certainly where you are, you give tests all year round in terms of prostate cancer awareness. What are the signs, first of all, before we get in the tr in, into the treatments? Because sometimes or often it takes men a long time to get to the doctor and check out what's going wrong. Sure. And uh, this is really one of the important parts as to why we're having prostate cancer screening is that oftentimes patients with prostate cancer don't have any symptoms at all, and that's one of the problems. Uh, it's usually that they present with symptoms if they have advanced disease because it's spread outside of the prostate. So they may have pain in their bones or where it's spread to. But usually symptoms associated with the prostate is often because patients have benign prostate enlargement. These symptoms deal with difficulty with urinating. They may get up many times at night to go to the bathroom or have a weak urinary stream. But these, again, are all related to benign prostate enlargement. And again, that's why we're advocating prostate cancer screening. Because it can be silent, and many times it is. So exactly. in terms of the screening at Capital Health, what is being offered to men out there? Sure. Well, prostate cancer screening is really two parts. The first is a physical examination of the prostate. And then the second is a simple blood test for PSA, or prostate-specific antigen. And patients with prostate cancer often have an elevated PSA value. We, re we recommend that patients 50 or older uh, go for prostate cancer screening. Or if men have a family history of prostate cancer, then they begin screening at least five years prior to when their family member was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Are you offering free screenings? We are offering free screenings, and you can sign up at Capital Health Systems. You can call us at 1-800-255-3440, or you can check out our website at capitalhealth.org. A lot of, um, a couple of new treatments that have to deal with robotics, a lot of technology involved. Yeah. The old way or the more traditional way was to go out, remove the prostate, or I guess deal with it by some type of chemotherapy. Uh, exactly. So there's really two main avenues in which you can treat a prostate. You could remove it or you could treat it within the patient's body. Um, in terms of removing it, as you said, the old way was the open surgery to remove it. Now, we've really embraced robotics for all treatments of prostate cancer. Uh, now, I've been sp uh, specifically trained to do the minimally invasive robotic prostatectomy using the Da Vinci Intuitive Surgical System. And this allows precise removal of the prostate with superb optics so that patients have decreased blood loss, shortened hospital stay, and a much quicker return to recovery and also better outcomes. In regards to the other modality where we treat the prostate cancer inside the body, we're also, we also have embraced robotics. And we're, there's now a robotic radiation therapy system where a robotic radiation head uh, moves precisely and accurately, limiting the radiation to other vital organs that are lo located near the prostate so that just the radiation is limited just to the prostate so that there's minimal side effects from that radiation. And that used to be the problem with external beam radiation therapy is the radiation to other organs. And so patients this, do much better with that. With also. the new technology, are a lot of people doing this so far in New Jersey? Yeah, I, actually it's, it's limited. Um, and Capital Health Systems is the only regional hospital that offers both robotic, minimally invasive prostatectomy and also robotic cyber knife uh, radiation therapy. And we're proud to be the only regional hospital that does offer both modalities, which really gives patients the option to choose the type of treatment they want and the most current and most technologically advanced treatment so that they can have the best outcomes. And we that's, have, again, we have about important. 20 seconds here, sure. but I want to make sure you have a message to the men who are out there who are on the cusp. They know they should go, but just haven't yet. What's sure. your message to sure. them? Sure, again, my, our message to them is to really, because prostate cancer has no symptoms, it's really vitally important that men go for prostate cancer screening and go to their doctor, and if they're having symptoms, to, again, to go to their doctor. All right, thank you so much for being with us, and thank you, too, for watching.